What's good, YouTube? It's Tavio here, Becky, and once again, and today, people, we are taking on Claire, the final gym leader, and we are getting a little gift. Uh, hopefully, the game don't crash, but I'll explain why I said that in just a moment. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go to quick party update because, as you saw at the beginning of this video, we had a bit of a grinding montage. Actually, I need to go ahead and switch someone out front because I'm going to be using this Pokemon throughout the majority of this gym. And I should go ahead and look at them. <laughs> so, out front, we have Perry the Kingdra, level 37, just like everyone else in the team. But, Perry has served Dragon Breath, Leer, and Twister. Next, we have our newest member on the team. Hercules the Hitter Cross, who unfortunately does not have the best moveset, but will be getting Mega Horn within about 10 levels. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't get the best moveset, and I didn't realize that until afterwards, so yeah. He's got Horn Attack, Takedown, Counter, and Fury Attack, so. Santa Ghost in, 
on this thing and you basically win. Next we have a very screaming and loud Pokemon Typhlosion because that cry was intimidating. But Typhlosion is holding the charcoal which powers up his only fire type move Flame Will but along with Flame Will he also has Strength, Fury Cutter and Quick Attack. And then next is a Pokemon that I'm not sure if you're going to hate me for having this thing, but it happened. Because Celebi, named Evergreen, is holding the leftovers, but it's got Shadow Ball, Ancient Power, Hill Belt, and Future Sight. If I can get a Grass-type move, and I can get a better Psychic-type move, I will be set for Evergreen. Next, we have Lance the Dragonair. Who has who is holding smoke ball, which guarantees it can get away from any wild battle, no matter what. But it's got Surf, Twister, Thunder Wave, and Dragon Rage. After this gym, I will be giving it Dragon Breath. And then I basically have the exact same Pokemon on twice. And then last but not least, we have Rufus the Duck Trio, who's got Magnitude, Thief, Rock Smash, and now Slash. He ended up learning Slash, I believe at level 37, so I could easily be wrong on that. But, either way. Yeah, we got Perry out front, so let's go ahead and try to test this out and see how this all goes. I actually recorded this episode about an hour ago, and unfortunately, post-commentary wasn't gonna happen, gonna have to happen again, but, and because I didn't lose anyone and everything went perfectly fine, I decided to just try it this way, and... Hopefully nothing bad will happen to me. But for now, I know that we are going to be a bit over leveled for everyone, but we should be able to just steamroll through everyone with a couple of Dragon Breaths. I don't think there's anything in here that can take two Dragon Breaths from Perry. And that's the reason that Perry is going to be leading the Brigade through this team. We should be able to one-shot any Dratini that they want to send out, because Dratini is so frail. But this Dragon Breath is just going to be good enough to take it out, hopefully. But, I kind of mentioned that I hope the game doesn't crash or mess up. And the reason I say that is because whenever I played Crystal on my own a little while back, I got to this part, and I ended up getting the Pokemon that uh, replaces the Dratini. So, the problem with that, though, is the fact that once I try to exit the building, it just crashed the game. I mean, it said something like, support the official release, please play on actual game cartridge, which that kind of sucked to see because no matter what I did for a couple of days, it did not want to work and I had no idea what to do. Thankfully, though, uh, one day I started it back up a little bit, a little bit before I started um, working on the YouTube thing, and then it was just good to go. But we're just gonna go ahead and take this girl on because I believe this gym you there's only one lead, there's only one trainer, not leader, that you do not have to take on. And this is the problem with having a dragon gym this early on in this series. There's not that many dragons. I believe that at this point there was only the Dratini line and Kingdra. So, yeah, you were kind of SOL at that. Unfortunately, our accuracy is lowered, but we do not miss the Dragon Breath. So the Seedra will easily go down here. Perry, unfortunately, does not like to gain levels fast. Either does Evergreen, and either does Lance. And that kind of comes back to a big problem a lot of people have with the second generation of the games, and even the remakes, I believe, that there's absolutely nowhere to do grinding. I was facing level 20 Pokemon. Like, half of my level. I mean, I'm glad I have the speed up button, because if it was not for the speed up button, this would have taken forever. It took me about 16 minutes worth of actual grinding. And the problem with a lot of that, as you may have noticed, is 
There was a lot of cuts in that grinding. And what happened with that was the fact that one, I don't have a way to fly back to the um Blackthorn City, so if I jumped off the ledge, I was going to have to make my way all the way back through the cave. And that was going to take me absolutely forever. So I went ahead and looked up a code to uh, use walkthrough walls and just use that every time. So because I didn't want, want my mouse to keep on showing up on screen so I can disable and re-enable the uh, cheat. That's why there was all those cuts. So forgive me. Thankfully, though, I did get the grind done pretty quickly. A lot quicker than I thought I should and would, but... I still got it done, so that's all that really matters. Let's go ahead and take out this Seedro with one more Dragon Breath. And we should be taking on uh, Claire relatively quickly in this gym, because when you have a Dragon type that's as OP as Parry, you pretty much just run through this gym. Push that over there, drop that down, and you just... Yeah, you have, uh, four people you have to face. You can face five. That guy that's down there in the left corner is the only one that you do not have to face, which is still nice. I honestly wish that you could read challenge gyms because I've been watching uh, someone play Pokemon Sweet version, and they kind of mentioned at one point that you can read challenge gyms over and over again. The problem though is that you can't exit the gym and after you enter unless you win so that does get a little scary why am I yawning Jesus Christ it's only 3 30 I don't sleep until like six o'clock in the morning like when do y'all go to bed yes y'all that's that's a little bit of my southern accent showing. I don't like my southern accent at all. Like, I have a weird strange accent, according to some, because... I'm, I know I have, like, some foreign viewers, because I've looked at demographics and all that, but... Up in Ohio, which is in the north, in case you don't know... My mother is from there, Dayton, Ohio, to be exact. And I'm from a little small town in Georgia, the middle of the Bible Belt. So I have like a southern and a Yankee accent mixing up, southern and northern accent mixing up all the time. The reason I said Yankee right there is because I used to have to take speech because, yes, I know I've been saying because a lot, but I had to take speech because, <laughs> really? And that's bullshit. You should have died. As this is going to go for the Dragon Breath on us, I'm actually a little scared about how much this is going to do to us. Just 42, but we do break through the paralyzation, so we can go ahead and take him out with one surf. Maybe we'll get a level off of this thing. I doubt we will. Maybe, though. How do we not get a level off of that? Are you serious? Okay. He's going to outspeed us. That's unfortunate. Fortunate, but we should be able to live one dragon breath here just one okay let's see can we get the paralyzation please that's all I want is the paralyzation okay so that is not happening uh, let's I want to show off Jimmy I've not got to show off the Typhlosion yet, and I really like Typhlosion. Typhlosion is probably my favorite starter out of the uh, first gen second generation of games. I Every time I call Johto the first generation of games, it makes a sad puppy cry even more for its dead mother. Well, Perry's going to go ahead and gain a level, get to level 39, and Jimmy's going to get a little bit of time of experience as they're going to go ahead and send out their ace, Kendra. You're going to send out your ace, I'm going to send out one of my aces, because I actually have a very good team, in my opinion. I mean, yes, I acknowledge I have a few weak members, but 
overall, I think I have a very good team. First time, I'm going to go ahead and set up a future site. And then, I'm going to keep on going for Shadow Balls. That way, I can slowly whittle it down. And then the future site can go ahead and take them out. I hope with my accuracy being lowered here, the smoke screen's not... The accuracy is not going to matter for future site. I don't know how that would actually work because... As you know, no one runs Future Sight for obvious reasons. It's an awful move. But, he's going to get hit. The Future Sight failed? Excuse me? Hyper Beam! No, 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 I ate that up. Oh, Evergreen, you beautiful little onion. Really? Can I? I might have to actually switch out here to someone that can take a hit. Ooh. I like Future Sight's animation. One more Future Sight should do a good bit of damage after I get a Shadow Ball or two off. As is going to go for the Dragon. Brano! Can you stop, please? Shadow Ball. Okay. Do not get a crit. That's all I ask is. Do Why the fuck did I stay in? Why the fuck did I stay in? Why the fuck did I stay in? Two times. Two times now. Two times I've lost a grass type to a water type. Okay, 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 okay. Hercules just horn attack this Kingdra. <sighs> I played stupid there. Celebi's gonna kill you from death. That's what you deserve. That is what you deserve, Kingdra. From beyond the grave, Celebi takes you out. I'm sorry if I'm yelling right there. The microphone's a bit too close. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Celebi. Your loss will not be in vain. Because... Because... Why did I do that? I clearly knew he, she had Hyper Beam. I was focusing too much on the Dragon Breath. Can I break through, please? I just want to break through and horn attack this Dragonair and end this battle. And Hercules is going to take down the Dragonair and win us our badge, but... <sighs> of course, when the audio fails, I keep all my Pokemon... But when the audio doesn't fail, I lose someone. I lose the legendary on our team. I mean, I do have a potential answer, but... <sighs> I'm disappointed in myself, really. I'm disappointed in myself. And that's something you never want to hear, is I'm disappointed. Like, if I have anyone that still lives at with their parents I bet you can attest to this that the last thing you want to what is this house a clan of trainers who can freely command dragons live right here in the Blackthorn as a result there are many legends about dragons in this town okay I don't care about you <sighs> that sucks Two out of three videos, we've lost a Grass Psychic type to a Water type. What kind of luck do I have that that happens? Go ahead and deposit Evergreen. Let's see, who is dead? Zomboid, Nagini, Ooze, Tesla. Spitfire, Pompeii, 
Electro did not die. I know that for a fact. Okay, I'm just going to change box and deposit Electrode real quick because I'm not using Electrode for now. I may end up using Electrode. Don't count on it, though. Because we are going to be able to get an encounter. Not really an encounter, a gift Pokemon. And yes, I know we already have that typing in the party. But, hint, it's a legendary. And it's a bit underleveled. It's going to be level 15. Because I've already recorded this episode before, I... That just pisses me off. Like, if this was my first recording of it and it was working fine, then I wouldn't have any problems with it because it happens. But, no, this is my second recording. And the one that I record secondly... Is the one that fails. Um, Jolteon, let me get away. Um, Jolteon, let me get away. Jolteon, let me get away. Okay, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna run back to the Pokemon Center real quick. Because that was a little scary. Yeah, go ahead and heal us up. As you can see, I don't... The super speed button on the first two generation of games is broken. I just want to get over here and get our stupid encounter. So let's go ahead and climb down the ladder. Come in here. We're going to have to have a battle with this douchebag. So thankfully we did end up healing up. So thank you, Jolteon, for scaring me half to death there. <clears throat> I'm disappointed is all. Like, come on me. Can you not? Let's go ahead and Dragon Breath this thing. As it sh should be able to one-shot now that we're two levels above it. It does thankfully one-shot. And we do gain a bit of experience on that. So, let's see. We defeated Daring. I, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. His name's so irrelevant that it does not deserve to be pronounced. We gotta teach someone Whirlpool, we just thought about that. And there's only one Pokemon on our team that can actually learn Whirlpool. And it's the best member on our team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and delete Leer. Never gonna use Leer in my life, so might as well get rid of it. And we can just hopefully not get an encounter, but we do so that Entei is completely pointless. Yes, it's an Entei, by the way, and we're getting a fucking Spinarak. Actually, no, I do in, I do gift encounters differently. Don't care about you, good Twister. If you can live a Twister, I will catch you. You have to live one Twister. You don't deserve to be in my party. You are worthless. Fortunately, that means that we're never going to get an area dose, but area dose is awful. So, whatever. Like, really, who likes area like, I like area dose, but it's a kind of bad Pokemon. It gets completely outclassed in every single way possible. Galvantula is a better sticky webber. Shuckle's a better sticky webber. Masquerain is a better sticky webber. I believe it gets that. Lavania is a lot better sticky webber because you can actually do some damage afterwards. What are Pokemon to you? They're my pal. Strategy. I like to battle anyone. Except for the ones that kick my ass. Like, that happened. Love. Yeah, yeah. Which is more important. Both. That, that it makes logically no sense. You're just making me kiss ass. But whatever. Just give me my stupid anti. I'm, like, upset is all. Like, I hope you understand why I am. Because... That shouldn't have happened. I mean, I really should have not lost Celebi there. And the problem now is, it's going to take me forever to train up the Entei. I mean, thank you for the rising badge, but uh, can you get the hell out of my face? I don't care about you and your Smurf hair. Actually, no. Smurfette had... Smurfette was blonde. 
Like, that would be weird. What if your hair was the pigmentation of your skin? Like, I'm... I'm extremely pale. Like, extremely pale. So... Did we get it? No. Because we didn't get a nickname it. Because if my hair color was that color, I'd be kind of terrified. I'd, I'd look like I was going old. Thankfully, she is going to go ahead and give us Team 24. I'm kind of just... My mind is not in the right place right now because I'm just kind of sad. I don't care. Go away. I don't like you anymore. Either way, can you get off my screen? Thank you. Fuck her off. I'm a little scared that this is about to break my game. It says Dratini, but like I've already said, the Dratini is an Entei. Yeah, Entei. Molly. I'm going to name it Molly because of the third movie, I believe it was. I honestly think it was the third movie. But you're about to see me do something because this last time broke my game. So I'm about to make a safe state here. So you're about to see my mouse on screen and so I apologize for that. Sorry about that. Uh, something just kind of happened. Don't worry. Okay, so the game did not break. And before we get out of here, we need to go ahead and look at our potential list. Our most potential new member on the team. <laughs> Molly the Entei. Actually, no. What I'm going to be doing with Molly the Entei, who has... Sorry again. Things just... I don't know what's going on back there, so I keep on having to pause and go look and... Shit's going down. I'm being, I'm being murdered as we speak. There's no more videos. I have died. But Molly, the Entei, who has Bite, Lear, and Ember, will probably end up going to the daycare as we take on, as we take in probably the Electro that we already had. But, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to, I'm going to bring Electro back into the party, and then... If anything happens to Typhlosion, I guarantee you that I need to get the mouse off the screen. I'm sorry if that was bothering you for a moment there, but I just noticed it. But if anything ends up happening to Jimmy the Typhlosion, you can guarantee Molly the Entei is the first one to come onto the team. Just notice that I name both of the fire types that will potentially be on the team whenever we take on red so far are named after characters in the anime that they're associated with so go me professor Lum's gonna go ahead and call us up hello Kreno. i have something here for you could you swing by my lab see you later alligator no for alligator that's my nerd voice. I don't do voices. <laughs> Which is extremely strange because I've actually already figured out about the time it's going to be until I get to my big series. And I'm ready for that series. If I keep on doing the games at this rate, then I will not get to it until about nine months from now. <laughs> I mean, and that's going to kind of suck, but what can I do? Can't really do anything about it though, which is very unfortunate. And also, Skarmories are a pain for this team team to take on, except for really Typhlosion. I mean, Typhlosion is our best answer to uh, taking on Skarmories because it kind of walls us otherwise. Like, yeah, I can do some decent damage to it, but it for some reason just lives all the hits very well. Someone that's not going to really live a hit is this Diglett, though. And I'm just going to go ahead and surf on this thing and take it out with one shot. 
After I get out of this battle, I'm going to go ahead and give Dragonair a Dragon Breath because I said I was going to do that and I just remembered that I forgot to do that. I have kind of crap memory if you don't know by now. And he's going to go ahead and send his Doug Trio, which is perfectly fine because we should be able to one-shot. I, yeah. If I don't one-shot this thing, I will quit this channel and never make another video again. Okay, good. My YouTube life is alive. A little worried there for a second. Like, okay, he's going to gain an invisible focus sash, which doesn't even exist yet. Just so he can say, yeah, you need to quit. You're awful. You're terrible. Bad. You don't deserve to make content. You do not deserve it. I just realized we missed an encounter. Oops. So no, no, I don't. I don't care. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and make our way back to our hometown in New Bark. I'm gonna hop over this ledge so I don't have to deal with all that. Get off my bike real quick because for some reason I can't actually ride that ride there for reasons that no one understands. But next time, we will be making our way. Next time, we're going to speak to Professor Elm, which will be Monday. Yeah, this is going to be Friday's video. Which will be Monday, and we will be making our way through Kanto and... On to the uh, little bit that we have to do after this because I honestly have no idea what's coming up after this and I kind of forget everything at this point so it's gonna be fun but either way I've been Cratavio you've been watching hopefully the audio is kind of messed up I know that sounds awful but I don't want to lose evergreen if I lose evergreen I'm gonna be a little upset uh, yeah but uh, yeah anyway smash all that like button so you if you enjoy the content, smash all that like button, subscribe, come back Monday to see what's going on. And until then, thank you for watching, and peace!